Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Screaming. Welcome back to another day in Destiny 2. For some more Destiny 2 news and Lightfall, I'm going to officially say Season of the Wish Intel. And you're going to want to jump on Destiny as soon as possible because there is an absolute game-breaking glitch that is currently in the game. And no better time than right now at the end of a season when Legendary Shards are going to be disappearing than to do this kind of thing. And if you didn't see the previous glitch like this, it was revolving around a similar yet different weapon but also on the featured weapons page you're going to want to go on and pick up as many of these sniper rifles as possible because as you can see if you open up your character and delete them they are currently awarding enhancement cores now, Legendary Shards are going to be disappearing. No better time than to cash in all of your Legendary Shards, or as many as possible, for Enhancement Cores than right now. Now, this will be patched, I'm sure, very quickly. If not, these weapons on the feature page will be disappearing seven hours after the daily reset timer. So, if it's not patched by then, you only have until then in order to cash in on this particular glitch. This was something that happened a few weeks ago with the Staccato Scout Rifle. As you can see, it doesn't work with any of the other weapons. But just to check and satisfy my own curiosity. Nope. So, I'm sure that this is some way for maybe developers to actually cash in some of their materials. And we just picked up on it. But you have at least seven hours from the time that I'm posting this in order to actually acquire as many of these as possible and trade them in for enhancement cores. Now we also had some very big news in the Destiny 2 Bungie universe today. There was many rumors a few weeks ago, or almost a month ago now, that... The final shape had been delayed until June. That was unconfirmed until today. It has been confirmed. The final shape will be delayed until June. And Season of the Wish will essentially be an, ex an extended season. Though there will be a few things that happen in between what would be the normal season length, which is about three months, to June, which is another three months. There's going to be something called Into Light, which will be some kind of like pre-expansion, I think. There are also going to be Guardian games that are going to have a whole new sort of mechanic to them, which supposedly is going to be a lot more exciting. There was a, of course, um, announcement video, so you can go check that out. Maybe I'll link that in the comments down below if you're curious as to what was actually said. Talked a lot about things coming to the Crucible. So people who were looking for Crucible updates, this is probably going to be the season for you. But essentially, because this is going to be the last seasonal expansion in the final shape, we're not going to be getting seasons anymore. They're going to be stories or chapters or something along those lines, but it's going to be a whole new system by which we get new content from then on. So we are really heading into the last season of Destiny 2, and I've always liked the seasons. They've been here for quite a while now, and um, I think I'm going to miss them a little bit. Hopefully the thing that replaces them is equally as interesting. And tomorrow, I'm really looking forward to seeing what Season of the Wish brings, as Season of the Witch was actually a very good season, in my opinion. One of the better seasons, certainly in a while, probably one of the best seasons this year. So hopefully, Season of the Wish adds to that. I think it will, based on what has been happening in the lore leading up to the end of the season, but also just 
I, the mechanics of the activities I've found to be fairly interesting. The thing that I think has been actually missing the most from all the seasons this year has really been the power grind. Now, I'm not somebody who's advocating for going back to the old system of power where we just have to farm out pinnacles in the beginning and our power just gets taken from us, blah, 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 that whole just hamster wheel that everybody hated. But I do think it added something to the game that is missing at the moment, be it in the worst way possible. Power and a power grind is, in my opinion, something that is needed for all MMOs. So, not totally sure exactly how Bungie would want to add a seasonal power grind back in to the game, or maybe instead of a seasonal power grind and locking it at, you know, a certain power that you can acquire every season, a yearly power grind that allows you to sort of uncap but makes it very difficult to reach the cap even in a whole year. I think something like that would be best added back to the game in the final shape. Or from now until then, though I don't think that's going to happen. I'd love to hear your comments on how you think power should work maybe leave a comment down below as it's something that I've thought about quite a bit as it's the thing that actually kept me probably coming back to the game the most and though I didn't really like the whole way we had to acquire pinnacles every single season and just the way that the artifact kind of works I think is not utilized really well I did enjoy those first few weeks because it made every new thing I got really feel relevant whereas now you know, exotics sort of feel relevant, but I have all of them. And if I get a Prime Ingram or, you know, I want to go farm a Pinnacle activity, I'm really just looking for either exotics and Primes I almost throw away. So none of that stuff really feels relevant anymore. And I used to like the whole sort of system of how you want to farm out your power the most efficiently as possible. You know, I make videos on those things because they're actually the things that I find the most fun, even though that might not be the case for most. And I do think that they should be done quite a bit differently, though I'm not totally sure exactly how to do that, but I do think it's a necessary thing to be in the game. Maybe if we just had the artifact power be our total power and you know we just ranked up that way or you somehow converted pinnacle rewards into artifact power or something along those lines. I actually had a friend who said, big shout out to Sinister, that we should actually just make our journey representative of our power. That might be something interesting as well. But that's going to be it for all the information in today's video. Please jump on and farm this particular glitch at Banshee out as much as you possibly can, while you can. Because like I said, it'll either be patched or leaving within the next few hours. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the bell to post notifications so you never miss out on any future Destiny 2 Lightfall content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. Season of the Wish is tomorrow. I can't wait to bring you all the new information regarding it. Let me know about any of those things as far as po uh, power and how you think maybe it could be augmented or what you're looking forward to or not looking forward to in the months ahead now that we have the official announcement um, about the final shape and when it'll be released. Remember any of those things also enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel and I do one every 1,000 subscribers so you never want to miss out and when we reach 100,000 subscribers we will be giving away an Xbox Series X. And once more, I'm Wilhelm Scream. Thanks so much for watching, and of course, we will see you next time.